In Division One, from Lakewood St. Edward, with a 26 and 5 record, senior Alex Moore. Moore is going to be our first of eight finalists tonight for the Eagles. In a 44 and 2 record, from Solon, junior Brandon Thompson. Defending state champion Brandon Thompson. Thompson is going to take a couple laps around the mat, I would imagine, while we're waiting to get this one started. to do that arm drag off a two on one wrist. Not a ton of leg attacks from him. He's another one vicious on top. Certainly a contrast in style. More short and powerful 113. It's impressively only taken five losses on the meat grinder of a schedule Edge has wrestled this year. They have dueled every single team in the top 10, but one, there's a shrug Thompson. Look how far he takes Moore on that. Reaction time on the mat there, so Moore is not giving up a takedown yet. They'll call two on the edge as Thompson drags both ankles. Ed's coaches certainly want to talk about it. They're wearing fantastic outfits. I need a picture of Mark Moose standing in the corner. And it looks like Moore was trying to reach back. If you gave reaction time earlier when he went to the mat and stood up, I'm not sure you don't give reaction time there. However, they're calling the match, not me, and Alex Moore trails Brandon Thompson 2-1 after the arm drag takedown. Big return there, Thompson. Moore had a little, actually not a little, Moore had problems on bottom yesterday in his semi against Ryan Hornacek of Medina. Thompson Moore tries to roll through it and does. Thompson still deep on that near arm. 30 seconds left, first period, 2 0 lead, Brandon Thompson. Now, again with the half, Moore fighting it over. He can run that over the top, and Moore's in trouble quickly. 20 seconds left. Thompson driving Moore near the edge. with that half now. Sits more back to the mat. But time is going to run out. Takedown and right after Brandon Thompson gives him a 2-0 lead after one. Thompson wins the flip. He'll defer to the third. Moore goes underneath. Certainly a tough choice strategically, as good as Thompson is on top. But if you're going to win a state finals match, you have to get out from bottom. Moore beats Thompson off the whistle a little bit there, but right to the half is Brandon Thompson. Now Moore back to his feet, looking to peel hands. Thompson loop through the waist. Stall call could come soon for failure to turn. As I say that, gets him back. 20 seconds gone by, second period. 2-0 lead, Brandon Thompson. Again, Thompson out to the side with that half Nelson. Switches off, wants to run the other way. St. Ed's coaches want full Nelson, but to no avail. We'll get it stalemated. Again, the key for Moore is going to be beating Thompson off the whistle here. Again, gets a good start. Thompson drops to a leg, but Moore clears and scores. 
2-1 lead now, Thompson after the Alex Moore escape. Thompson again trying to bully Moore forward, will get stalemate there. 102 on our restart, 2-1 score. Half fake from Thompson, this is where he wants to be. Certainly favored him so far again, looking ready again, looking for that rush. Now underhooks Alex Moore. High level hand fighting for little guys in this one. 40 seconds left, second period. Moore, or Thompson drives Moore back. The Solon coaches want stalling for Moore backing up. Once again, we invite the place runners, three through eight, for the first three weight classes. Thompson has the elbow, Ty can't drag more. Some space, pulls for the head, 15 seconds to go. Half shot, Moore gets close to a leg, but nothing doing. And we'll be 2-1 to start the third period as the final five seconds pick down in your 113 pound final between Alex Moore and Brandon Thompson. Thompson's choice, he'll run around and think about it, and goes underneath. Moral Ride needs a turn if he's gonna choose this route. Side headlock more. Thompson peels hands up and out, so after 10 seconds, lead now is 3-1 Thompson. Lower ship, 3-1 Thompson's correctly. Had a brief moment of panic that I missed the point as the scoreboard was showing 3-2. 90 seconds to go in this one. Thompson sitting on a two-point lead again, goes right to that Russian. We get a stall Alex Moore, so the trailing wrestler has been warned. Certainly can't make the Ed's corner happy. Moore shoots through unders, nothing doing. Drug Thompson, takedown of a minute 10 left, and that one might ice it. His lead now 5-1. And has more broken down as we approach a minute left in state finals. More, or not more, Thompson slides a boot in. He is absolutely in control. This one just needs to milk the final 45 without any disasters happening. And Moore is in no position right now to make a disaster happen. 35 to go. Reinforced arm bar looking. Robles tilts. Can't quite get there. Moore staying strong on bottom and not getting turned, but that doesn't do him a lick of good when he trails by four. 24 seconds left on the restart. You're almost, it's a reversal to his back is the only thing that's going to keep Moore in this match. Moore can't quite get to his feet, tilts off the return, but Moore rolls through it. Nice work there, Thompson. To go tight waist now, he's looking ball and chain. Ten seconds left, he can just hang out there. Brandon Thompson going to win his second state title for the Solon Comets. You see the smile on his face. Your 113-pound state champion, Division I in Ohio, is Brandon Thompson.